지금부터 하나님의 부르심을 받아 한국에 가신 조용기 원로 목사님 We will now begin the funeral service for Pastor Emeritus y o n g i c h o who went to be with the Lord. Let us pray. 내가 들으니 보좌에서 큰 음성이 나서 이르되 And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying Now the dwelling of God is with men, and He will live with them. They will be His people, and God Himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To him who is thirsty, I will give to drink without cost from the spring of the water of life. He who overcomes will inherit all this, and I will be his God. And he will be my son. Amen. We will now recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We will now sing a hymn number 221. Sing, young, 
Now, Pastor Chang Jung Hyun, who serves as the president of the Presbyterian Church in Korea, Pekso, in the United Christian Churches of Korea, will pray for us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, who governs all things of men, the men of God, Yonggi Cho, has faithfully carried out mission given by you. And we are holding a funeral service for him. You have enabled him to establish Yoidofo Gospel Church. And by being filled with the Holy Spirit, he went across the world to preach the gospel. He has carried out the work of faith, and he has shown the patience of Jesus. Korean churches will not forget about this, and we will follow his path. Heavenly Father, who is holy, you have, you have given us life to us. And you have enabled Pastor Yonggi Cho to preach the message that we will have a life where we may enjoy good health and that all may go well with us even as our souls are getting along well. We pray that your comfort will be upon the bereaved family and the members of Yoidoful Gospel Church. Heavenly Father, Pastor Yonggi Cho has spent all his life preaching the gospel. We pray that all of us will follow the footsteps of Jesus. And may we all resemble Pastor Yonggi Cho's passion of faith. We will not forget about his dedication for the world mission. And we pray that you would help our country and our people to preach the gospel across the world. Heavenly Father, Pastor Kim Jong-un will be preaching your word. We pray that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will be upon him so that we will remember that we must put our desire in heaven and not in the world. And we pray that your comfort will be upon all of us. We commit every procedure of the funeral service to you. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's scripture is found in John chapter 11, verses 25 to 26. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live, even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this?
Now, Pastor Kim Jong-un, who serves as the president of Far East Broadcasting Company, will deliver a sermon title, I'm the Resurrection and the Life. I wish it was a dream. I can't believe the fact that Pastor Cho has left us. Your absence is greatly felt. And I feel like I can still clearly hear your voice. One time, I went to the movies with them. As we were watching a movie called Roaring Current that tells the story of Admiral Yi Sun Shin who struggled to defend his country, I saw him crying, and I cherished this as a warm memory of him. During his sermon, he said that his great friend is Pastor Kim Jang-hwan. I've been always praying for his recovery, and I have been counting the days for him to shake off the illness so that we can go to conferences together, eat together, and work out together like we used to. But tears are blinding my eyes. And he used to make a joke that it is difficult for him to take me with him because I'm an old man who is two years older than him. So why did you go before me? After your wife, 
Kim Song-hae, who was your companion of love and your lifetime fellow worker of faith, has gone to heaven. Did you go to follow her because you missed her? I have known Pastor Cho for more than 50 years. He served as a senior pastor at Full Gospel Central Church in Sodemun. And I had an opportunity to lead a youth revival meeting at his church, and that was when I met him for the first time. Since that time up until now, as brothers and as friends, We share spiritual fellowship by praying for each other, sharing feelings, and supporting one another. We made utmost efforts for the revival of Korean churches and for world mission. In particular, he was at the forefront of Northern Mission Ministry along with Far East Broadcasting Company. By always praying for the Far East Broadcasting Company, he has planted the seed of the gospel with his generous support. He was truly a strong, good fellow worker of Far East Broadcasting Company. When I went abroad, people used to ask me, Do you know Dr. Cho Yonggi? So whenever I said that I know him well, I received better treatment. Foreign leaders that I met abroad wanted to meet Pastor y o n g g i Cho. And I have heard many times that they want to visit Yoidovo Gospel Church. Someone like Pastor Cho, who was a global pastor and a revivalist, is few and far between. So it is truly a great blessing for churches in Korea to have met him. However, we can no longer see Pastor Cho in this land that the emptiness and sorrow cannot be described in words, even though no words or phrases of men can give comfort. I bless you in the name of the Lord that you will be filled with God's comfort and the hope of heaven. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Life is destined to face death once. It is God's providence. But who would have thought that you will leave us so soon? The Bible says, All men are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall. Because the breath of the Lord blows on them, surely the people are grass. In fact, we all know it well. All people face death, heroes, patriotic martyrs, those that are beautiful, the rich, the poor, the educated, the uneducated, those in higher positions, those in lower positions, and all ranks and classes die when God calls them. We know that this is life. It is said that we come empty-handed. We come into the world empty-handed, and we leave empty-handed. This is life. So the Bible tells us why you do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Job, who lived in the land of Uz 3,500 years ago, said, Men born of women is a few days and full of trouble. Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. Likewise, life is short and transitory. Life is like grass that stays for a little while and then vanishes. It is like a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. It is like a wanderer that passes in the blink of an eye. It is like the early morning dew that is without a trace when the sun comes up. It is like a watch in the night. It is like a bubble that bursts with a wave. It is like a smoke that disappears into the sky. So the Bible says, the length of our days is 70 years or 80. If we have the strength, yet their span is but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. 
Pastor Yonggi Cho was a great star in Korea. He has left our side. Whenever we think about Pastor Yonggi Cho, we think about how he established the largest church in the world. He was a great man of preaching. Whenever I think about Pastor Cho, I can say that he was a great man of prayer. I attended this conference with Pastor Cho in Okinawa, and I asked him, how come you lead a mega church of 800,000 members, but I'm leading a church with 20,000 members? Why is there a difference? And Pastor Yonggi Cho asked me, how many hours do you pray every day? And I told him, I pray in the morning and I pray before preparing for sermon. I pray when I eat. If I add up all those hours, it's less than an hour. And he told me, I pray five hours every day. We know that he was a very busy man, but he spent five hours a day praying, and I realized that indeed a person who is used by God is different. One day when he was fasting and praying, he met Jesus in light. He experienced the fullness of the Holy Spirit. He was healed from his disease that brought him to the brink of death. He received healing. In Yeido, when there was nothing except sand, he established the church. He placed his hand on the heads of the sick people, struggling in pain. He traveled across the world to preach the name of Jesus Christ. He prayed again and again. James 5, 16 says, Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. The priority of Jesus' life was prayer. And the priority of Pastor Cho's life was prayer. Before carrying out important tasks, He prayed earnestly. Pastor Yung Gi Cho is no longer with us. Pastor Yung Hung Lee, who is like Joshua, will lead after him to lead all these people. He will pray again and again. Jeremiah 33, 3 says, Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Pastor Yonggi Cho sang well. He always sang hymn songs. And I would like to sing this song with you today. Pastor Yonggi Cho loved this hymn song. On the cross he suffered pain is the name of the song. On the cross he suffered pain. Oh, his hands and feet sinless Jesus lifted up on the cruel rugged cross and the sky and earth. and trees were all battered by the wind, and the sunshine lost its light, and all the earth was strangely dark. And remember the confession of Apostle Paul, the time has come for my departure. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for His appearing. We are in sorrow because we can no longer see you on this land, Pastor Cho. But on the day where our life given by God ends, we will see you again in heaven to the bereaved family, friends, and more.
on the day when we all stand before the Lord, let us see Pastor Cho without shame. To this end, I bless you in the name of the Lord that you will live a beautiful life today and even tomorrow. Our respected and beloved Pastor y o n g i Cho, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace in eternal heaven. Amen. The global man of God has left us. For 86 years, he only focused on preaching of the gospel without stopping. He's a person that this era can never forget. Pastor y o n g g i Cho was called by the Lord. We are in sorrow, but he has gained rest in the Lord's, in the Lord's arm. His wife, Kim s o n g h e went to heaven, and he has three sons. In the sesame field in Daejo-dong, Pastor y o n g i c h o built a tent church with Pastor Choi j a s h i l and he began his path as a pastor. The number of church members grew explosively. With prayer, blood, sweat, and tears, he saw the church to grow to become the world's largest. Our God is an omnipotent and omnipresent God. Nothing is impossible for God. Our God is searching for the whole earth to find people to, who sincerely seek His face so that He might bless them abundantly. Reverend y o n g i Cho, a man who loved our country and its people, he proclaimed a message of hope all throughout the country with the doctrine of the fivefold gospel and threefold blessing. And he catalyzed revival by teaching four dimensional spirituality and a proactive faith that declares nothing is impossible. We can do it, fighting the good fight for God's glory. God leads us into a victorious life where we can enjoy life, where all may go well with us even as our souls are getting along well. Reverend y o n g i Cho, a man who never forgot God's grace commission, took the gospel to the ends of the earth. When everyone said it was impossible, he dreamed of a greater brighter world and wrote new chapters in the history of world Christianity by following the dreams that the Holy Spirit gave him. Wherever he went, the Holy Spirit blew powerfully, allowing him to lead the largest crusade packed with seas of people, which brought traffic to a standstill in these places. Reverend Cho penetrated the ironclad wall of foreign religions, creating an ever-growing procession of those being saved. These historic crusades were places that reveal God's mighty works and glory through Reverend Cho. As he traveled to every corner of the world with the gospel, his crusades broke records to become the largest and most significant crusades ever held in these places. Reverend y o n g i Cho, a man of the Spirit, who truly share in the sufferings of his neighbors, He ceaselessly dreamed of a better world for all and tirelessly devoted himself to bring hope to people. The gospel-saturated Kungmin Daily Newspaper, Hansei University, the international development NGO Good People, Elim Social Welfare Town, 
Bethesda University and Osali Chejasil Memorial Fasting Prayer Mountain were among the various missional strategies he pioneered to reach society. And in 2008, 50 years after the church's establishment, Dr. Cho became a model for the Korean church by successfully passing the leadership to Reverend Young Eun Lee, the second senior pastor. The great evangelist who passionately gave his whole life to preach the gospel, even to the final moments of his life, he was a man who brought us laughter and joy, who at times carried a fierce spirit that penetrated the soul, and at other times carried a warm smile. A renowned evangelist of the gospel, his every word will forever resonate to the depth of our hearts. a prophet of hope and our eternal shepherd, the great Reverend Yonggi Cho. We say your name. We miss you dearly. And we will always love you. His uh, legacy, his contribution is uh, absolutely um, incalculable. His prayer life has been catalyst for thousands of churches and ministers. Help us to continue the baton that Dr. Cho has handed over to us. A better human being because God allowed me to get to know Pastor Dr. Cho. You have fought the good fight. You have finished the race. You have kept the faith. I think of a person who always reflected the character, power, and authority of Christ. He has taught me more about faith and how to be a man of prayer. It has been my pleasure and my joy to have served Dr. Cho for over 20 years. And he has been a source of inspiration and a challenge to the ministry that I'm in today. And thank you for the great blessing of church growth that you have been to me and to the whole world. I know heaven is rejoicing, but here on earth, we shall miss Dr. Cho. Most of all, Dr. Cho taught me the need for radical decisions and willing surrender. We will miss him greatly, but his legacy lives on. One that has reminded the world about the power of prayer, faith, and dreams and visions. I thank God for Dr. Cho and for the legacy he's left us all of prayer and faith. Dr. Cho lived it in such a demonstrable and exemplary way. A man walked with God. He was a blessing to all nations. We love him with all of our hearts, salute him as one of the mightiest figures in Christian history. And taught pastors everywhere the secrets of building ministries and churches is resting now in the beautiful city of God. I want to thank Dr. Cho. He's been like a second father to me and will be greatly, greatly missed. We are learning to believe God more, to trust God for more, and to give our whole hearts to the service of God. May you take the legacy of faith that Dr. Cho has imparted to you over a generation 
I've always enjoyed his ministry and listening to his teachings and his sermons. And he remained an example and blessing for since our believers. We are very grateful for all that he has done for us and imparted to us. We commit to carrying on his legacy, to carrying on the vision and the strength and the values. He was salt to his generation. The world is safer because he lived. Dr. Cho was a world changer. His life impacted millions of people and it impacted me. The congregation he built represents peace and joy well beyond the borders of South Korea. Jungi 목사님은 세계 교회의 성장을 주도해 주셨고 개신교 선교 역사에 큰 획을 그으신 분입니다. 주님 앞에 영광스러운 혼인 잔치에 앞장서서 주님을 찬양하고 온 세계 영성 운동에 앞에 서서 손을 흔들듯이 뒤에 뒤를 따르는 우리를 격려할 줄로 믿습니다. 소용기 목사님은 일평생 목자의 심성으로 온 지구촌의 영혼 구원의 사명을 능력 있게 감당하신 영적인 거인 스피리추얼 자이언트이셨습니다. 사랑하는 조 목사님 이 땅에서 다시 뵐수 없지만 천국에서 해와 같이 빛난 얼굴로 해부할 것을 기대합니다. 목사님께서 맡겨주신 사명으로 감당할 뿐입니다. 그것이 은혜를 보답할 수 있는 유일한 길인 줄 믿습니다. 조 목사님 정말로 감사했습니다. 그리고 천국에서 편안히 쉬시기를 바랍니다. Now, Pastor So Gang Sok, who serves as the president of the Presbyterian Church in Korea, Hapdong, and president of the United Christian Churches of Korea, will read a memorial poem. Thinking about Pastor Cho makes my heart beat and cry. The messages of war that made an impact in our lives. Still ring in our ears. But how, how did you leave us? It's not the time yet. We're not prepared to send you away. The history of acts that was written by making vigorous marches across the five oceans and six continents of the world and the cry of the early morning are left by you. Why did you suddenly leave us? to a boy suffering with tuberculosis, vomiting blood in a rich neighborhood. God called you a flower. One flower bud called Yonggi Cho has brought the spring of the Holy Spirit and the season of Jesus in the desert of our country and across the five oceans and six continents of the world. 
the scent of that flower still has not disappeared and remains in our hearts. I miss you dearly that my heart aches. We cannot bear to send you away with your eyes that are still vivid in our memories. We cannot send you away farther. We seem to now realize the message of your thorough tears that you shed in front of the Lord's altar by fighting against countless attacks of Satan. You are a patriot who has made Korea known in the world the most. You are a prophet who lighted the light of the truth through Kungmin Ilbo newspaper. You are a priest of love who embrace the marginalized and the sick by loving them and through happiness sharing foundation. We long for your voice, this voice and your benevolent eyes. We will cherish them in our hearts. We will open the path for the unity of Korean churches, national evangelization, and world mission. Uh, Pastor Yonggi Cho, your petal has fallen on this earth, but you become a greater flower bud in heaven. If the Lord commands you to become a flower bud again, please ask Him to give countless flower buds and sent to the Korean churches as gifts by meeting with your wife again in heaven. Please make supplication for the spring of love, reconciliation, and revival to come into Korea, Korean churches in an endless way. Now, Bishop Lee Chol of the Korean Methodist Church and the President of the United Christian Churches of Korea will deliver a eulogy. Who would you pick if you were asked to say a name of a person who represents preaching of the gospel? I will say Pastor Yonggi Cho. Great Pastor Yonggi Cho believed in God who gives strength to those who are weak. When he was in high school, he met God on the brink of death. After receiving salvation, he went through several crises because of sicknesses, and he even collapsed on the podium when preaching sermon. But God has brought you as a person of men. You represent the history of Christianity. And you have shown us the work of faith. You were a great man of faith. Great Pastor Yonggi Cho, you spare no efforts to show love to the marginalized and the sick and to orphans. You have shown love through various foundations and you help the poor by showing the love of Jesus. You were a Samaritan. And you have shown us 
what patience is. With the preaching of the, you have planted the seed of the gospel by proclaiming positively. You were a man of the Holy Spirit. Even though we are weak, you only relied on the Holy Spirit and you were the living testimony of the gospel. And you have told us that things cannot be done with our strength, but by relying on the Holy Spirit, you are a man of God. By carrying out the Holy Spirit movement, you have given us courage and strength and hope. You were a great pastor. People say that you are a great revivalist in the 21st century along with Pastor Billy Graham. And I would like to call you as a great man of God. God has brought you into the world and used you as a precious tool. And you are now in the embrace of God to show us a greater place than y o u t i f u l Gospel Church, heaven. You, were, you have shown us the work of faith and you have shown us the result of patience. Through you, we were able to fully rely on the Holy Spirit and we will live with absolute positivity and we support the future of y o u t i f u l Gospel Church. Although Pastor y o n g i Cho has left us to be with the Lord, there is something left here. y o u t i f u l Gospel Church is not the church only to our church members. y o u t i f u l Gospel Church is the church for the world. Through the Holy Spirit movement, Pastor y o n g i Cho went beyond denominations and race. y o u t i f u l Gospel Church has become a model for the world. It has become a church that the world takes note of. So whatever we do, we must do them carefully. y o u t i f u l Gospel Church must be at the forefront of showing examples of Jesus Christ. And it must become a model of the community of hope. Although there are differences in ideas, we must become the church that exercises love of Jesus Christ. We are moving towards the next chapter in mission. We are going from the past to the future. We will become the church that reveals the truth and we will not forget that there are other Christians watching us to follow the footsteps of Jesus. I ask that you will continue the legacy of Pastor y o n g i Cho here at y o u t i f u l Gospel Church. Pastor y o n g i Cho was a great model of faith, and I now ask that you will also become a model of great faith. Pastor y o n g i Cho, rest in peace. We will see you in heaven. Now, Senior Pastor y o u n g Lee of the Idaho Gospel Church will share Pastor Cho's biography and give words of thanks. Pastor y o n g i Cho went to the Lord. He was born on February 14, 1936. He was born in Gyeongnam, Ulsan. His father's name was Cho d u c h a n and his mother's name was Kim Bok-san. He was the eldest of five sons and four daughters. 
in September of 1956, he entered the full gospel seminary and he met Pastor Che Da Shil there, who became his fellow worker. May 18, 1958, Pastor y o n g i c h o pioneered the tent church along with Pastor Che Da Shil in Daejo Dong, and he married Kim Sung Hye. Based on the fivefold gospel, the threefold blessing, and the fourth dimensional spirituality, he made utmost efforts for church growth and development. The tent church in Daejo Dong. moved to Sodom in 1961, and it was moved to Yeoido in 1975. And the number of members grew explosively. In 1992, the membership reached over 700,000. Pastor y o n g i Cho graduated from the Full Gospel Seminary. He received an honorary Doctor of Divinity degree from Bethesda University. He received an honorary Doctor of Divinity degree from Regent University. He served as a senior pastor and pastor emeritus of Yeoido Full Gospel Church. He served as the president of the Assemblies of God of Korea and served as the president of Church Growth International. He served as the president of the Full Gospel Mission and as the president of Elim Welfare Town, which is a social welfare foundation. He serves as the president, the foundation director of Hansei University. He served as the advisor and honorary chairman of the Christian Council of Korea. He served as the president of the World Assemblies of God Fellowship. He was at the forefront of preaching the gospel going beyond denominations. And he has written 325 Korean books, such as the Fivefold Gospel, the Threefold Blessing, and the Spiritual Leadership for the New Millennium. He has written 49 English books, such as the Fourth Dimension, and 247 translated books. He has written approximately 30 gospel hymns and choral songs, such as On the Cross, He Suffered Pain, and When I Think of the Life Past. He was awarded the Presidential Citation, Holt School Construction Fund, and Welfare for Disabled Children. He received the National Medal of Merit Mugungha by the Korean Red Cross. He was awarded the Korean Church Leader Award by the Korean Christian Newspaper Association. And he received the Family of Men medallion from the New York Christian Church Council in the United States. Cho Yi Jun, Cho Min Jae, and Cho Sung Jae are his three sons. Our beloved and respected Pastor Yong Gi Cho, rest in peace in God's embrace. We will not forget about your love and teachings. and we will continue to move forward. And I would like to thank the Korean Church Association, and I would also like to thank Pastor So Gang Song, who spent three days here with us to prepare for the service. And we give thanks to every disciple of Pastor Yonggi Cho and to every member of this church. Thank you. President of the Daily k u n g m i n i l b o Cho Min Jae will speak on behalf of the family. To all brothers and sisters who celebrate the life of my father, Pastor Yonggi Cho, my father made utmost efforts to preach the gospel. I learned something from my father. 
He never allowed me to fall into complacency. And missionary work was part of his life. And in cars, he would always memorize English words. And he lived a life with a purpose. He faithfully carried out mission given by God, and now he is home with God. And in the future, we will follow his path. And we look forward to a celebration in heaven. And let us live only for the glory of God. And this is what my Father wants. Although we are in sorrow because we're sending him away, we will now be thankful for his entrance into heaven. And our brothers and sisters will continue his legacy to spread the blessings of God across the world. I would like to thank all of you who mourn with us. And I pray that God's comfort and peace will be upon you. I sincerely thank you. After the funeral service, we will hold burial service at Osalli Chejarsil Fasting Prayer Mountain. Now, Pastor Park Jung who serves as the chairman of Kungmin Cultural Foundation and as the pastor emeritus of Gyeongdong Church, will give a benediction and we will finish the funeral service. Heavenly Father, we are gathered here today on a very sad day. Our beloved, respected pastor has gone to heaven. And we know that Pastor Yonggi Cho is resting in peace in heaven. We pray that you would be with all of us and that your comfort will be upon us. Pastor Yonggi Cho has carried the burdens for the work of the Lord. And we pray that your grace will be upon each one of us. We are inspired by listening to your word, and we are healed when we hear your word. We pray that you would continue to bless us and may we continue to take the path that Pastor Yonggi Cho has taken. World evangelization and national evangelization were the mission carried out by Pastor Yonggi Cho. And may this work be carried out continuously through various foundations and through us. To all people who determined a life of faith and to the bereaved family and to all members of the church, may the grace and blessings of the Holy Spirit be upon you. Amen.
지금부터 하나님의 부르심을 받아 천국에 가신 조영기 원로 목사님의 천국 환송 예배를 드리겠습니다 다 같이 묵상기도 하겠습니다 내가 들으니 보좌에서 큰 음성이 나서 이르되 보라 하나님의 장막이 사람들과 함께 있음에 하나님이 그들과 함께 계시리니 그들은 하나님의 백성이 되고 하나님은 친히 그들과 함께 계셔서 모든 눈물을 그늘에서 닦아주시니 다시는 사망이 없고 애통하는 것이나 복하는 것이나 아픈 것이 다시 있지 아니하리니 처음 것들이 다 지나갔음 이러라 보호자에 앉으시니가 이르시되 보라 내가 만물을 새롭게 하노라 하시고 또 이르시되 이 말은 신실하고 참되니 기록하라 하시고 또 내게 말씀하시되 이루었도다 나는 알파와 오메가요 처음과 마지막이라 내가 생명수 샘물을 목마른 자에게 값없이 주리니 이기는 자는 이것들을 상속으로 받으리라 나는 그의 하나님이 되고 그는 내 아들이 되리라 아멘 신앙 고백 하겠습니다 전능하사 천지를 만드신 하나님 아버지를 내가 믿사오며 그 외아들 우리 주 예수 그리스도를 믿사오니 이는 성령으로 잉태하사 동정녀 마리아에게 나시고 본디오 빌라도에게 고난을 받으사 십자가에 못 박혀 죽으시고 장사한 지 사흘 만에 죽은 자 가운데서 다시 살아나시며 하늘에 오르사 전능하신 하나님 우편에 앉아 계시다가 저리로서 산자와 죽은 자를 심판하러 오시리라 성령을 믿사오며